The K-700 emerges from the water like the friggin' phoenix. Hello everybody, Grace Show Blaze, and we're back with more heavy metal music and big ass trucks. That's right, it's more Mud Runner. And today we're gonna be taking out the K-700, 215 horsepower turbo diesel tractor. A heavy tractor. I actually really like the, uh, the controller for this game now. Now that I've gotten used to it, and I kind of understand how the log system works and everything like that, we're gonna be doing pretty good. So the idea today is to fully unlock one of the lumber mills. I've delivered six of eight points over to this lumber mill with the C255. I used long logs for this actually, and it did very well for it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some short logs and finish this off, and then we gotta hit the other lumber mill. You guys were saying, that you wanted to eventually see a race off-road from one side of the map to the other with no waypoints between me and something else, and someone else, not something, hopefully they're real life people, between me and someone else, and I do want to get that done, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now while we're doing this, there's a couple of things that we haven't unlocked yet. So you can see I kind of like carved a path right through here, and there's a log station over here too, as well as a watch point. I want to unlock both of these. Because as we do this, we're going to get more and more vehicles and stuff like that that we're going to find and kind of learn a little bit more about the map, which is pretty sweet. So let's, um, let's do this. And I think what we'll do is we'll go, we'll head straight for the watch point before we get the logs on our back and have to deal with all that weight. We're going to unlock this first. All right, who here is ready to hear the turbo diesel roar? Freaking do this. Before I played this game today... I got myself all revved up by watching this same vehicle pull out of like, <laughs> oh my god, it must have been like 8 feet of water or 12 feet of water or something, the water was like up to the halfway up the door, it was an awesome video, it looked pretty slick, let's go ahead and head around over here, now you're gonna see, these freaking tires here do not take crap from anyone. And the differential lock is always on on this tractor, baby. Little bit of mud in the way, huh? Trying to get up at my grill? Not today. Not today. All right, let's go ahead and follow through over here. Now, we also have a trailer camera mode. The only thing about the trailer camera mode is it's so far away that it's hard to see the front of the vehicle. Actually, let's do a little bit of this over here. There's my other vehicle. You can see it hanging out over there with the uh, the big long lumber chunk thing on the back, the, l the lumber wagon on the back. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet? Hold on. There we go. Yes, a couple of birds didn't know what time it was, so they had to get blasted off into the stratosphere. Now, when you're on the roadway here, if you turn off your all-wheel drive, it consumes like one half of the normal amount of gas. I think we also have a fuel cistern over here, so we could probably utilize this thing. Oh, this is a repairer. Oh, can I repair myself? I sure could. Okay, freaking sweet. Well, that's cool. Um, all right, let's go ahead back over to the K700. Oh, it's nighttime. You know what else we can do? Hold on. One of the things that you're allowed to do, I think, is we can skip the night. Uh, we don't really need to quite yet. It's not super dark, but man, this game is so foggy. And just like, like I love the look of it, but it's difficult sometimes for you guys. What do you guys think of the look of the game? Are you okay with the sheer amount of just fog and bog and everything else? Now the blog post is open, we don't have any logs on us. So there we go, I was gonna say, we should be able to go right past like it's no big thing. Let's go ahead and uh, look on this side of the vehicle for a little bit. Those big tires peeling down the roadway, whoa! Holy crap! I think while I was looking at the vehicle, yep, the engine's broken. Actually, this is pretty good. Well, it's terrible, but it's good in the way that we can utilize our repair vehicle pretty easily. I was going to say, I'm spending so much time looking at the sweet area of the vehicle and stuff like that. Not looking where I'm going. Let's roll on up to the rescue over here with the repair vehicle. No big deal. Up we go. Nice and slow. Nice and laborious. All right, let's go ahead and slow it on down over here as we roll on in, kind of pull off to the side of the road. There we go. Parking brake on. Utility attachment. Oh, can we not get it from here? I think we need to be a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and pull up just a little bit more. I don't want to hit this light pole that's right off on the side either. There we go. 
That should be plenty close. All right, park and brake on. Use the attachment. Uh, yeah, please repair. There we go. The utility attachment is completely empty, but our K700 should be plenty good enough now to be able to move. Let's go ahead and stop this engine. Head back over to the K700. Oh, you know what else we can do? While we're just messing around over here, let's go ahead and get the night by. This will drain 68 liters of fuel. Really? I'll pay for it. 68 liters of fuel. Start her up. There we go. Off road we go. Let's try and not bust this thing down in one shot again. We're dealing with mud now though. So I'm pretty happy about that. What do you think? Think we get some more birds? There they go. <laughs> Wonder if we need our headlights here. Now, with the with the smog the way it is, it just ruins the uh, the visibility. Hold on. Let's get some nice water shots over here while I probably run into something. There we go. Oh man. Those water physics though. Those mud physics though. I love it all. Big fan. Ooh, we got a decent chunk of water ahead. Hold on, what do you guys think? Think it's gonna be a problem? Not for this beast. Now I think it said that the uh, K701, the updated version, had like 300 horsepower or something. It was way past what this one has. Go ahead and stop real quick. I just wanna make sure to take a look over here. Okay. So there's the garage that we were ahead, but we want this watch point over there. We definitely want to get that. So I don't know which path is the best. So we're going to have to kind of follow the red line, but make our own way through the water over here. Come on, just like that other YouTube video. Push on through the water, baby. Although this was nowhere near as high as the, uh, the water in that other video. Come on now. Go ahead and pull yourself out. Ooh. I don't want to roll too much now. All right, we may need a little bit of help here. May need a little bit of help. No big deal. We should have plenty of... Oh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, we should have plenty of winch locations in the area to help yank us out. There we go. We probably could have powered our way out. But honestly, I want to get moving over here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and release the winch. There we go. I don't need the, well, you know what? Let's go ahead. Well, wow, the visibility of this thing is god awful. I was gonna say, maybe we'll do a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the cabin view, but mother of God, that was absolutely dreadful. Oh, a fuel station. Can't, can't look the gift fuel station in the eye. Hold on, let's go right over here. Go ahead and, now, am I allowed to get fuel here or does it have to be one of the fuel uh, vehicles, I wonder? Oh, nice. Nice, we can get it. All right, continue to move on. Now we've got a lot of hills and stuff over here, so I'm not really sure what the best, you know what? The best way is the straight path, isn't it? Screw it. A couple of trees and whatnot in the way. K700, baby. K700 is gonna take care of it. Now we do have to be kind of, kind of cautious though, because there is a lot of big ass rocks over here. I know you guys were saying, go through the woods. Don't always use the paths. You got it. Here we go. We're going through the woods. Oh, man. It's going to be a little tough, though. Getting kind of narrow over here. You know what? Hold on. We may be able to do it like this. All right. Let's see. Can I get around this, this tree over here? Uh, oh, maybe. All right. Doing good. Doing good. There we go. All right. Well, we kind of ended up on the back the way. <laughs> Man, even when the sun's coming up, it just looks so dry out here. Hold on, let me go ahead and back up a little bit so we can get to the waypoint. Love the sound of that engine. Yes! All right, we're doing good. So now we have opened this whole area out, and now we can actually see some things. We can see there's a little road over here, and it's kind of it kind of follows the coast. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and follow the coast over here to the log station. Why not? We've got a fuel station over here too, which is pretty nice. Onward, boys! It's a good day. Plenty of fuel. Plenty of birds to scare the living crap out of. And plenty of trees to drive over. This is the view, man. This is the view you gotta have. If I wasn't afraid of, like, running over or running off a cliff or something like that, this is the view. Alright find out where we're going over here. All we have to do, remember, is just kind of follow the coastline here. Shouldn't be that bad. Although this, this soft sand 
little tough to get through. You can see some big rocks there, too. If you hit those rocks going too fast, you're going to add up some damage. But you guys saw. Plus, you'll end up damaging the underside of the vehicle pretty badly. All right. Now, what do we have over here? Is this a little, uh, little inlet over here or something like that? Oh, no, not really. Oh, don't want to get too close to the water. Oh, that would be bad beyond bad. All right. There's the log station. So what do you think the best way is to get there? What's that? Straight through the woods? Sounds good. Sounds freaking good to me. Straight through the woods it is. Um, oh, it's going to be kind of tight in here. Actually, it's going to be really, really tight in here. Actually, can I get a, Can I even get through this way? Ah, I might be able to. All right, let's cabin mode this real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a tight one. Right there. Yep. We got it. Come on. Come on now. Just plow the tree down. If a tree gets in the way, K700, you know what to freaking do. Just go through it. I hope we go around this way. We got some big ass stumps over here too. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Somehow this trailer is still in one piece too. I freaking love it. Whoa, 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 whoa there, mud. Rolling up on me. You must be crazy. How come all of the log areas are in the deepest mud you can possibly get. Anyway. Alrighty. Logs on the... You know, the, the getting the logs on here was annoying because the only thing I needed to change was move the back end a little bit. It was a little bit weird. But anyway, we've got our logs. Our three points worth of logs. Now we just have to get them dropped off. Mother of God. What a pain in the ass. Lumber mill's over here, boys, but we're going to have to go around it. No big deal, though. Let's, uh, how do we want to do this? We can go, let's see, we could probably go over, well, you know, we could, now we, we need to, we need to do this one. We need to unlock this one. So let's go this way. We are going to go most of the way up until the point where we get to the road blockade. You know what? We don't even have to do that. Hold on. What we can do instead is go off road and over here and we'll circumvent the blockade this way. Yes. Good. And then before you know it, we'll be at the lumber mill. Trickin' do this. What time is it? 3.30 in the uh, afternoon. Should have plenty of light over here in Russia or whatever, right? Let's do it. Biggest issue is just pulling yourself out of the muck over here. Mother of God. Over here by the logs, it's freaking horrible. Oh, what an uphill climb this is. All right. Hold on. Let's do it. Gotta make it happen, baby. Here we go. Oh, yeah. See, they, they were ready for us. They got treads all over the place over here. Right where our tires are gonna be. Already plenty of holes in the mud. Come on, 700. You can do it. Get those big-ass tires digging into the ground. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we gonna get stuck? Nope. Not gonna get stuck. We're set. And even if we did get stuck, remember, we always have the winch at our back. We really, really have to call on an ally. The winch is there for us, but I think we're going to be just fine. We are burning through a lot of fuel, sometimes up to 17 liters a minute. But this is just from my slight bit of experience now. This should be plain to get us back. Now, the biggest problem is going to be this area and whether or not we can balance this carriage as we go through the depths of the water. Let's give it a shot, though. I think if we go kind of mid-level right over here, we should be okay. Yeah, we're looking good. Looking good. Just getting the tires cleaned off, boys. You know, got to get those tires cleaned off now and again. All right, now this portion might be... We may have to caterpillar our way out of here. Did we get a little bit of oil in the water there? <laughs> see the uh, see the rainbow over there in the oil? Come on, baby. Come on, push your way through. All right, hold on. We're going to make it work. More winches. Some of you guys were like, more winches. You got it. More winches. Freaking do it. Someone was saying the winch looks a little dry. Like, it doesn't look as good as everything else. You're totally right. The winch looks a little fake. Like, everything in this game is just so hyper-realistic. Except for the winch. <laughs> um, should we get the fuel? Am I really that worried about it? Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Got plenty of fuel. And we have the beautiful, 
the beautiful ocean over here at our side as we kind of muscle our way around. I think we should do okay over here by the sand. Now normally, the sand on the old trailer would probably be a real pain in the ass. But I think we're gonna be okay. Now, the only thing is we've gotten a little bit off the path over here. Matter of fact, we're so far off the path, I may want to move, let me see over here. We do have a pathway over there that we can take. You know what, let's use that pathway. Just gotta go through the water a little bit. The rushing water, right over here, you can see there's a slight little bit of pathway. Hold on, try and muscle our way. Muscle our way over to the path. All right, go against the water. Yeah! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. A little rushing water never hurt anyone. You know those tires can pick you out of this. You know those tires can pick you up out of this. There we go. How's our logs doing? Logs are doing fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's going on? Uh-oh. All right. This is a slight little bit of a problem over here. All right, we got some sad trees over here. I don't know if they're strong enough. Oh my God, we're ripping them right out of the ground. That's bad. Backed my way out, and we're gonna go straight up the stream. We're gonna go straight up it to right about here, because if I can get that tree right there, that tree should have enough gumption to get us out of this if we need it. But I think we may be able to overpower it the rest of the way, yes! Oh, man. Oh, I love this freaking game. No big deal. No big deal. Every once in a while, K700 tips a little bit. Not too bad, though. We do have some problems, though. This is a big-ass mountain in our way uh, that I had not foreseen. So we have to go around it. Um, look at this freaking drop. Oh my god. Oh, look at the look at the rocky crags over here. We're going to have to be very very freaking careful as we go down this. There we are. Oh, a little bit a little bit more careful. A little bit more careful. Not too much now. Not too much gas. I think we're going to do it though. There we go. Nice and slow. Crawl our way down. Don't deal too much damage to the vehicle and don't deal too much freaking damage to the log cart. Otherwise, we're going to be having a bad day. And we came out to a trail. That's what I'm talking about. I'm all about doing the tra going off the trails when we don't have a giant thing of logs. When we have the giant thing of logs, I think we might want to stick to some of the trails. Now, there's a lumber mill over here, but it's not the one we want. Um, we want to drop them off over at the other lumber mill. We could drop it here and just start working. Well, oh, listen to the music starting to play. It knows. It's like, you can drop it off right here, Gray. You can drop it off right here, man. Nope. Screw you. We're going to the other one. We're going to the other one. I don't care. Oh, there's a, there's a, a, a way area over there to a watch point. Crap. Oh, I wonder if we could get it. I don't know, man. It is like in the middle of friggin' nowhere between a lot of trees. There's a pathway it looks like out there. Eh, we'll get it next time. We'll get it when we open up this particular log area. Shouldn't be a big deal at all. What do you boys think? A little log carting in the dead of night? 2,100 hours? Almost 2,200 hours, actually. What do you think? Should we do it? You guys are gonna have to let me know. Do you want me to do some nighttime pulls like this? Or should we stick to the daytime where you can see a little bit easier? For right now, uh, how much fuel do I have? 294? That should be plenty. For right now, I think we're, we'll stick to the day real quick. Six o'clock in the morning. Things are looking good, baby. Just pushing through some trees like it's no big thing. You know how it is. Oh, this is a bog over here. This is a bog over here. Hold on. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Actually, it's pretty smooth. This is probably the smoothest area I've ever gone through. I love it. Now, it looks like, is that a path over there or that is definitely not a path? Um, let's see. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit of a dangerous water level here, boys. Not too bad, though. We're gonna be okay. The K700 emerges from the water like the friggin' Phoenix. And now it's completely stuck. Um, all right. Hold on. We should have... Oh, yeah, we have some good winching spots right here. We got some good winching spots right here. I will tear this freaking tree out of the ground if I have to. There we go. Just a little more winching. Just a little more winching. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so bad. I picked the wrong friggin' way. Ooh. Hold on. We may be able to squeeze this. We may be able to squeeze this, boys. All right, just gotta kinda get right around here. A little sapling in the way, no big deal. Just kinda knock that over. There we go. We squeezed it. We friggin' squeezed it. We are very, very low on fuel right now. Uh, a little bit lower than I thought we would be. But, I don't know, man. I still think we might be able to pull this off, especially if we can get to a roadway. If we can get to a roadway, we won't be chugging down fuel quite so heavily. Pull yourself out. Pull yourself together. We don't have enough time for this. There you go. There you go. Oh, we got it. We got it. Start playing the heavy battle music. Where's my heavy battle music? Yeah! Hold on, let me line this right up. Right over here. Right by the other truck. You boys know what to do. Unload! That's all eight load points delivered over here on the island map. The music blaring in the background. And now all we have to do, let's go ahead and clear all this up. Now we're gonna have to deliver over here, and then we have two more watch points that we have to open up. Guys, what are you thinking about Mud Runner? I really do like the co-op too. We definitely have to do more of that stuff, and I have another uh, bunch of buddies that I might be doing it with in the future. Anyway, if you want to see anything else, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Like I said, we are gonna try the race from one side to the other with no waypoints. That does sound like fun. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>